Well, let's pick up on that story. About 8,000 Rohingya Muslim refugees are crowded in shoddy vessels on the Andaman Sea, west of Thailand, fleeing persecution in their native Myanmar. And they're being turned away from the coasts of Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand. And many are running out of food and water. On Monday, police in Thailand said a former regional official there, accused of being a major people trafficking kingpin, turned himself in. And they've now found links between the trafficking gang and the army controlling the navy on the southern border of the country. CCTV's Tony Chang has more from Bangkok. The police have now found a link, uh, they believe, between the trafficking gangs who have been bringing uh, over a hundred thousand of these Rohingya refugees through Thailand over the last couple of years uh, and the army who control uh, clearly the, the navy uh, on the coast but also the southern border that was strenuously denied last week by the Prime Minister but documents in the house of a known trafficker seem to link some members of the army to these trafficking gangs and I think many people suspect their involvement uh, has been something that's allowed this to go on in such great numbers but uh, all of this name calling and accusations doesn't help the between seven and eight thousand refugees who are currently floating out in the Andaman Sea uh, whose situation is getting more and more desperate by the hour.